Hi, my name is Mayhem. Welcome back to another episode on the Vextron server. Hi, check this out. This island, okay? The coolest place ever, okay? Uh, check this out. I am so energetic right now. It's actually ridiculous. Last episode, we built this thing over here. I'm gonna show you. It's, I mean, I highly, highly recommend you guys to check this out because it's too amazing to not be seen, you know? Um, I mean, I'm pretty proud of this island. Uh, things that I did, you know, pretty good. This land arch here did work out pretty fine. Uh, I'm very confident with how this turned out. Maybe there is still a few more decorational bits that need to be done, but today I want to do something different, okay? Because I'm getting a little bit tired of this kind of stuff over there. And I want to be building something else because we have a new area in the base. Again, see, there is a new tunnel on Mayhem Island. Which is not perfectly done yet, because I'm still in the process of building it, and that's what I want to do today, okay? Started the day off with some mild terraforming, trying to get all these shapes in place. And for now, what we have is we have a tunnel here that is not really pretty yet, but I'm working on it. And if we follow this path here, this tunnel, it's gonna lead us into this new er What? What are you? Are you a ghost block? Get out of my... Out of my face, goddammit. Okay, um, this tunnel here leads us into the new area on my base, which is the harbor, okay? I want to have ships and boats, and I want to have a crane somewhere that lifts things up from, a from uh, like, a loading ship onto, like, a big pallet where we have, like, oars and stuff stacked on, like, a big pile or something like that, right? What I have done here is um, I have excavated an area because we're gonna be uh, constructing another arch right here. Another one of those orange arches that you've seen uh, basically everywhere on this island. I mean, they're kind of apparent here, kind of obvious. Um, yeah, that's what I wanna do right now. But that's not supposed to take too long. I'm gonna speed it up in like a time lapse or something. So we can focus our main concept, main uh, focus today. Focus our main focus, God damn it, mayhem, get your words correct. Jesus, we can focus our main efforts on actually constructing some buildings here, maybe a ship or something, or like maybe an actual pier down at the water, something like that, okay? So let's get going on the time lapse, right? All right, there we go. I have b spent uh, like a few hours trying to get this thing all beautiful and stuff. And if we go through this thing, which is a nice little tunnel that I made, and uh, just in the basic style that we got all over the place, all over the place here. And um, yeah, this is the arch. I quite like it. Uh, yeah, it, it fits in really nicely with the rest of the island here. So uh, let's actually get going, okay? I'm super excited because this, Wow, this took quite a lot of preparation, but now that I'm finally 
here, I can actually start get going on building, which is amazing. Okay, first thing I want to do, okay, if you think about like a harbor, like a harbor or something, uh, there's always these like little walkways that are like floating straight on the water or something, uh, from, um, where people can park their boats or uh, like tie them on like a little thing or something so it doesn't like g float away. I don't even know. Uh, so I want to do that right here. I think I'm going to go something like this. And then I'm just going to... Ah, crap. Not like this, though. Mm, like that. And then I'm just going to bring this thing downwards. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If this leads down to our actual boat landing space here, then um, I think I should just be able to do something like this and just bring this all the way across for the, for the start. And... Um, then maybe here I would need like a pillar that connects up three wide from all of those and then I can go into this way mm -hmm. like that and then I'm gonna have to make an additional one somewhere mm -hmm. yeah that definitely looks more like the thing I was imagining here uh, it's not perfect yet um, so I think the next thing would be to connect the dark oak slabs because I do need variation of two different kinds of dark oak otherwise it uh, uh, two, two, uh, two different kinds of wood I want to say god damn it um, if I don't have two different kinds of wood and just put a plate of spruce wood on it it's not gonna be very impressive but I think with this it's, it can convey this kind of rustic kind of pagan almost feeling to it you know uh, but just almost. You have to you have to understand that this is a very magical place. Okay, this is very high fantasy. Even the entire existence of this place is very high fantasy. So I think it would make the most sense to go with like a pagan inspired kind of rustic, kind of almost completely wooden wooden kind of feeling to the building parts of the space. Um, this harbor is overall going to be very wood, um, very much wood all over the place. Okay. So, yeah, there's your block palette for you, but I want to start filling this thing in with spruce wood planks, and then I think we're good to go. Oh, yeah, that is exactly what I was talking about. Totally. Now, check this out. Uh, if I take some, let's, what do I want to go with? Do I want to go with the dark? I think I want to go with the dark here. I think I'm going to go with these modules here, and I'm going to be installing them all over the place, okay? Okay, we have uh, all of the torches and fences in place and I've also decorated the place with a few boats just hanging out in the water. I think that makes a lot of sense considering that this is like literally the dock that these boats are made for and uh, well, they're basically made for each other. Okay, so uh, I think it makes most sense to have it like this and I want to replace these and potentially also this one just with a with like a thing like that and then like trying to mirror this one does that look okay hmm well if I put this thing and that thing there yeah totally and then I put this thing on top and this thing mm -hmm. yeah that's the entrance to the harbor okay so like to the small boat stocking areas okay okay so if I go one, two, three, four, five, like this. Mm, go around here. And then I will need to extend the platform over the water for just a little bit. But that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let make that meet up here and connect it up over there. Same thing goes on this side. Mm -hmm. And then I think I should be able to... I want to bring it across another block upwards, I think. And then I should be able to build a platform on top of it. Then we're going to have a second platform, which is just one block high, which is going to be sitting in front of this thing. Kind of connected, kind of not. I'm not that sure yet, but we will see. Uh-huh, something like that. So the shape that I left out is going to be the shape of the crane foot, okay? The crane has a few different parts, okay? Like, if you look at a picture of a crane, it has like a wider part underneath it, and then kind of rotates somewhere, you know? 
and that that part is a bit thinner and then it goes off to like a big beam that goes across basically and that's gonna be what we're building here but I want the other platform in place first so I know how big I can build this thing and without it starting to look a little bit stupid okay so if this crane is stationed somewhere over here and it's a 30 degree angle over here like hanging over the water okay and then it rotates by 90 degree okay and places things down potentially somewhere over here where they need to be loaded around basically where's the center of this um, is that the center first of all where is the center of this yeah that's the center and then I can vertically center it with this thing like that and potentially I will have to move it over another block because it has to work I want it to look functional I want the crane at least to be long enough to reach on top of the ship and back on top of the landing area of course it's not going to move actually but I want it to look like it could you know because that's what ultimately brings things together here in this game that we all love so much Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna work pretty good. I need to sleep though. Alright, I moved what I just built down by one block just because I think it would look a bit better. And it does. So, there you go. <laughs> so, I wanna build more of these things because they're a substantial part of my building palette and I don't wanna miss them. What is it? A, a crane. I think it's a crane that I wanna build here. Let's just get going, okay? I wanna, I wanna make a foot. Like... Just something that basically like a foundation part of the crane. I want something that kind of works as a structural support kind of thing. If I go with something like this and I bring it across in like an X pattern. And um, then I bring it across like that. Well... Only that that doesn't line up. Um, what if I do it with stairs instead? With Yeah, then we could actually already put like a vertical beam, like a horizontal beam on top of that. Mm -hmm. If I... Let's go with something like this here. Let's, um, let's wrap one of those things around. Potentially I would have to replace it with... Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's replace this with spruce wood stairs. And well, it does look a little bit weird. Uh, maybe I think I think that may be because I switched around the block colors. Because I think this thing here would look a lot better if it was just spruce. And this thing here would look a lot better if it was like this stuff here instead. Uh, let, me, let me do that quickly, alright? And now I think it works pretty good. If we take a step back, you have to imagine that this is like only the first step. There's going to be a few more steps to this tower. Okay, to this crane. Okay, so I want to get going on the next thing. The next thing, I think, would be something where we do a little bit of something like this. But it can't really be exactly like this because this one would have to be removed. Basically, I want to go in from the corners by one block here, like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, that definitely works pretty good. Uh-huh. So if I do that on all four sides. Uh, okay, so I think this shape here would work pretty good. If I keep going with this and I start with this layer down here and I build the same arch again. It's not even an arch. It's a diagonal thing. So if I bring it back down here. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes, please. Thank you. Give me all of that. All of it. I want all of it. No exceptions. All of it. Okay? All of it. Right. What I want to do, basically, is I want to make this thing even slimmer um, by going upwards in the middle. One, two, three, four, or something like this. That's five, actually, but let's, let's just place them. Let's see what happens, how this works out. Something like this. Uh-huh. Then there would be the crane on top of it, basically. Like a diagonal crane coming upwards. Uh-huh. So, would you look at this tower, please? I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it 
it's not fi it's not finished yet like there's still things missing and that's what I want to do right now I want to install the thing that actually works as the the crane so to say you know because this is a crane tower it's supposed to be lifting crates from ships that lay here onto this platform over there from where they can be distributed to whatever place I desire okay so I want the beam to go up into this direction hanging over the water and I want it to go diagonally up in a 12.5 degree angle or something like that that would be like a slab level and I want it to look kind of rustic and kind of like medieval slightly fantasy kind of rustic you know okay so if the thing on top here kind of functions as the the what what's the name the axle or something on which the you know if this crane is gonna lift that thing so you have to think of like physically okay uh, like in a physical like physics okay think physics right and if you want to lift something up you need an axle on which that thing can be mounted you know because uh, that's basically how how these crane thing wor things work and uh, if I get myself some of these dark oak wood slabs I can demonstrate how actually I think I mean this okay so this is going to be too steep right yeah that's gonna be too steep that would be 12.5 degree angle but it's too steep 12.5 22.5 god damn it what am I even talking about so let's just make a like a one and a half slab I don't even know how to describe this angle that I'm building on but it's basically a mixture of slab angle and stair angle and block angle to create something that is one and a half times as steep as a slab it's kind of tricky to describe what exactly I'm going for here, but you can kind of see it come together a bit. It's a bit less steep than a slab uh, kind of slope, but it's still relatively flat. And that's kind of the deal that I wanted here. What the crap? You go away. So that would be the overall... Well, it's not as thick as I want it to be. And it's not as, as defined either but I think it can definitely work I'm gonna have to move this thing upwards and then create a second slope that is a bit steeper it kind of originates from the same point but differently it's kind of hard to describe let me try to get this thing on paper okay all right this is not perfect but I think it's gonna work because we're going to be covering it up okay and I want to use a very special block for that uh, you guys know the furnace, okay? This thing, right? You guys know about it. There's some very basic stuff in this game. We all love it for what it does, but I love it for a different reason as well. Because if you put them up like this, in like a block, okay? And you hide the furnace side as good as you can, okay? By putting it between other blocks, rotating the furnaces. Uh, well, these kind of just got fucked up, you know? But technically, if I, weren't been, if I hadn't been so stupid, to place all of them and <laughs> like half of them wrong we can build something really cool with those things okay we can build things that look like like uh, heavy industrial kind of um, uh, metal blocks what the crap is this furnace why does it keep what also, apparently my boats have disappeared for absolutely no reason. Well, I have no idea how this happened. They like they were here a few hours ago, but right now they're just not here anymore. And I've tested everything. They're definitely not in the water and just invisible. Because like they're they're not here. That's weird. Okay, guys, I have no idea what what's up with the furnaces. Something seems to be going on with them. I can't place them in every orientation it's kind of hard to describe exactly what is going on because I don't even know okay so yes can I do that on the other side oh, nothing rotated after that yes yes totally and I need more though I'm not done here but this works out pretty good 
Uh huh. Like this, and another one here. Yeah. There we go. That is basically the counterweight. Potentially, I will have. I would have to move it up by one block. I think. Would that look better or would that look worse? I think that would look a lot better if I were to move all of them up by one block. So there we have our counterweight. I think this turned out pretty good. And I also, during the process of moving this thing, found out exactly how this furnace bug thing works. I don't even know if it's, if, if it's a bug or a feature, but I know how it works now. If you put a furnace there, works pretty good. If you put a full block here and a furnace there, doesn't work. Rotates the furnace automatically so that this side here is not in front of a full block. So, yeah, it just rot rotated this the other way around because there was a full block here. But if I place the furnace down, when there is not a full block here, I can put a full block there without that affecting the furnace at all. So I use that to uh, get all of the furnaces in place up there. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It's totally exactly the texture I wanted to use. Uh, like it's a very, very underrated texture. I mean, and that's one of the suggestions I have for 1.13 Mojang in the very, very improbable case that you're actually watching me, which I sincerely do not believe in. But if you do, consider giving us a block that is just this texture, okay? It's just a furnace without the front part and that doesn't do things, you know? It's just a block. Give us that block, okay? If you give us smooth stone slab blocks, if you give us prismarine brick staircases, then you also have to give us these blocks, okay? Come on! Anyways, I uh, kind of got distracted there a little bit, little bit, but shouldn't be that big of a problem. I should just be able to... Yes, I want a central column that goes up all the way through the center, because that's what central columns usually do, because this place needs a ladder. Seriously. Because if it's if it's a real crane, they always have a ladder somewhere. So you need a ladder in your crane build because it's totally necessary. So now that our crane is basically done, at least the basic like basic shape of the crane is pretty much done here. I want to go with I want to build something. You know, I want to build something that is attached to this crane that hangs down. Question is do I want it here? Or no, there's perfect. That's perfect, yes. Perfect distance from the tip of the thing, perfect distance from the base of the thing. Yes, I can drag this down. These are iron bars. If I drag them down, just enough. I don't actually know how far I want to drag them down. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty good. And then I want to put... I want to build uh, like a little hanging package, okay? Uh, it's like a little platform with ores on it and stuff. And I'm gonna have a few more of those that are going to be littered around this place, kind of here here and there, you know? Um, therefore, I am going to need the platform first, though. Let's make a little 3x3 three three platform. Like this. Remove these. Now let's try to connect the iron bars. This is going to be tricky though. Mm, if I put them here. How do I even... Hmm. How does one even make like diagonally... I'm going to have to research that. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Yes, I can flip them upwards. And now I have a little basket instead of a little platform. Uh, yes, I think that actually looks a bit better. It doesn't quite tie in with the color. But that shouldn't be that big of a problem. How much durability? Four. Four. Really? Okay, let me get a different axe. I'm too lazy to repair my axe right now. Okay, so the thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to replace those in a way that I can flip them upwards. I am going to remove the thing here in the middle because I recognize that maybe it wasn't such a good idea to put it down here because I can make a little bit of a bigger pile of ores here then. Uh, we're gonna need it here though because there's going to be the rope attached to it. Um, yeah, th these are the baskets. And am I gonna have another basket somewhere? I think I am going to have another basket somewhere. And yes, my voice just cracked. That is how the Mayhem voice sounds when it cracks. You thought this was a cracking voice? You have no idea. 
Seriously, you have no idea at all. So I think the idea that I that I had was to build something like this, but well, hmm. Let's see how this goes, okay? I just want a third basket here with a few more trapdoors around it. These trapdoors are expensive, god damn it. How does this keep happening to me? What the hell? I just got here, I wanted to get something, and now I've already forgotten what the crap I wanted to get. Uh, logs. Logs. I wanted to get logs. Okay. Okay. So yeah, but that looks like a really messy pile of logs. Who would who would put logs up like this? God damn it. Is there no order on Mayhem Island? No. No, there's not. Simple as that. There's no order on Mayhem Island. There's also no laws on Mayhem Island, other than take my stuff and you die. But... I want a cart. I want a big cart here that transports stuff from one place to another. Yep, yeah, that's how I get my ideas, guys. All right, let's improvise a cart. Let's just make something up. Just straight out of my mind, okay? No research, just me building something, okay? If I go um, in turn, it would make the most sense to have the cart somewhere here. Let's do that then, okay? Put a cart there. Mm. I think this place is gonna work out so like this now that's our wheel basically would a staircase work better in this instance um, let's try let's make staircases I know I have some left in that other place guys don't you worry it's just that I'm too lazy to get over there again so let's break this thing Put that there, put that there. Okay, I think I made up something. That kind of works. It's not perfect yet. Four times three is 12, if I'm not wrong. Right or wrong? I don't know, I'm gonna need a few signs. I'm gonna need these, and I'm also gonna need a fence gate. I think I want to use just spruce for that, because I think it's gonna look best with the block palette. Uh-huh, we're almost there guys, don't you worry. And there we go, we have a fence gate. And we have a thing. And now I'm gonna show you what I built, okay? This here is what I call the transportation cart, okay? It's gonna be over here. Um, and it's gonna have a few different things. First of all, it's gonna have a thing, a place, right? A model on the back, basically where it's basically the same basket that we've already seen before but this one is mounted to the back of a cart you see so that the people who use this can actually like me like the only person who uses this like act technically nobody uses this but lore okay so that the people can that use this uh, can can like load it full of stuff okay and i think this looks pretty good this is working pretty nicely and this up front here is the seat and the seat is going to have things like this on the side of it that make it look like an actual seat like this okay and then we can use the spruce fence gate and put it here and do we want to open it no I don't think we want to open it yeah I think I'm just gonna go with a little bench here just a very very basic bench because, yeah, I'm not gonna justify myself. I just want a bench here. That's it. Okay, that's it. I want a bench. I'm gonna get myself one. Mm. Where do I want it, though? Do I want it right here? Well, I, I could put flowers here and maybe, like, plants. Mm -hmm. Where do I want it? I think I'm actually gonna put it right here. Uh, that's wrong. Like that. That's also... What the crap? There. Jesus. So, I got myself one, two, three. And then I put one of those and one of those. Remove these. That already looks like a little bench, but there's a few things we could do better. For example, we could put... Uh, 
Now we can't. We can't do that. So we would have to do something different. Uh, I'm just gonna make a few chairs then. Just chairs. I'm gonna have one chair here. Or... Ah! I'm at a loss here. I don't know what to do. Alright, so instead of um, wasting the entire episode trying to uh, des to design this place here, I want to wrap things up, okay? I want to wrap things up. I want to get going, okay? Because I am literally, this is the part where I get stuck on, you know? It's not, of course, it's not the super complicated crane build here that I get stuck on and don't know what to do anymore. The thing I get stuck on is the question what to build in this place. What the hell is wrong with my brain? people what the hell is wrong with my brain okay but let's not worry about it too much let's get a whole bunch of plants I want high grass I want different flowers maybe some leaves put that all over the place then I need to get grab my silk touch pickaxe go down into the mines and grab myself some ores okay all right there we go we have all kinds of different ores I also brought some crafted um, or blocks like resource blocks like some lapis blocks and coal blocks and now we're gonna be uh, placing them in okay and I want to do this in a very specific pattern okay because not all of these ores look as good as other ones so I kind of have to balance between what I want to show more what I want to show less you know what I want to show where especially uh-huh I think that's gonna work pretty good yes so we can put the redstone away already because I want to keep one resource in one thing, you know, in one basket. So I want to say lapis can go in here, I say. Let's just paste some in. I really don't have that many blocks of this stuff. So I kind of have to be a little bit careful with how I use them. The lapis blocks, uh, like the lapis ore was pretty tricky to get. I actually had to sit there in the caves for a little while and actually farm things. So that's a thing. If I put it just here. So I thought I would just instead put the stuff down here. I'll put the gold right here. Uh, something like this. Does that work or is that, ha, huh, well, that's okay, but it's not perfect. If I put something, nah, something like this. All right, my children, next up, plants. So, I have placed in all of the grass, all of the leaves, all of the flowers, I've set up, I've set up some lighting, and I'm going to show you quickly how it looks, okay? I am super excited because this is so beautiful. It's not perfect yet, don't get me wrong. There's things that still need to be done, but I am all out of time for this episode, so I'm going to show you what we've got here. Look at all these pretty flowers, this is so cool. We've got access to the docks down here. And then, uh, well, we have like chests on, like the sides of here, just giving a little bit of storage space. And um, over here we've got li the little cart with uh, different kinds of ores on it. This one has lapis, this one has uh, gold, this one is coal. And the one up there, where uh, which is still on the crane, which we have built, is full of redstone, pretty nice. Uh-huh, I like this. Then we've got some additional logs here. Yeah, I think I quite like this place. It turned out pretty nicely. If I... I'm gonna show you from the air, actually. Uh, yeah, check this out. This is pretty cool, huh? Uh, I think there is one more thing that we can do today, though. Because you remember my map. I'm I think I'm gonna try to make this a consistent thing at the end of my episodes. That whenever I build something that is like big and visible from the map or something, I am going to update the map at the end of the episode. 
that is going to be a thing that is going to be reoccurring in my videos. So, hope you get used to it. But this is how it looked before we started. You see, it's all pretty flat, you know. Uh, remember this part here. Remember this part here especially. Remember basically this entire part here, okay? I'm gonna break it now and I'm gonna update it, okay? You ready? You ready? Because I'm gonna do it now. I'm not gonna ask again. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, it doesn't update straight away, but if we go... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see things coming into place. Look at this. This is cool. This is really cool. Let me jump down here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come on. Give me some more of this. I want all of it. No exceptions. All of it. Oh, yeah. See how that island expanded over there? That is the coolest thing. Wow. Can I at least get into it? Yeah, there I am. This is so cool. This is looking pretty good from outside. I like it. Let's put it back on the map and update the other one because there is one more that needs to be updated as far as I know, which is the one covering the top half of the boat docking space. Like this one here. Uh-huh, we need to get a bit closer. And there we go. Yes. This is so cool. Okay, bring it back. I want to see how it looks. This. <gasps> yeah. This is cool. I like it. I like it very much. This is very awesome. Yeah. I like it. It's coming together. Slowly getting the area a little bit more together, okay? Which is exactly what I was going for here. Now... You may be asking, what are we going to do in the next episode? Well, there's a few things that I have that I want to prepare for this episode. Um, I want to build more trees. Okay, I think I'm going to do that off camera, but I can't guarantee for that. You know, that really depends on how my week is going and that kind of stuff. So we're going to have to watch out on that. But regardless of if that happens or not, in the next episode, I want to definitely build ships. Okay, I want to build a big ship here. Like medium-sized chip. Let, let's call it a medium-sized chip. Okay. Just basic like freight ship. For like cargo and stuff. And then over here I want a big pirate ship. Just like heading towards this area. Because I've always wanted to build a big pirate ship in this game. And I try building pirate ships about once every year. And I fail miserably in exactly that same rhythm. Because I, I can't fucking build boats and ships and stuff. So... Yeah, that's going to be something that happens in the next episode. Mayhem fails at shipbuilding. But yeah, uh, I'm actually all out of time for, for today, guys. Um, if, you've, uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please make sure to leave a like down below. It means, it means a whole lot to me. Anyway, guys, I think I'm all out of time for this episode. I gotta, gotta get this thing going, okay? I gotta wrap this thing up. Uh, if you like what you've seen, please make sure to get down into the comment section. Sm smash your head on the keyboards. Uh, that's always very much appreciated. But don't hurt yourself, okay? Don't go too far here, right? Um, also, if you like what you've seen, please make sure to, go to uh, punch that subscribe button, you know? So you can always get informed, you know? Uh, also, I, I heard that there is a secret bell that nobody knows about. It's secret, and if you click on it, it... it it's gonna share you the secret of eternal life and happiness, okay? So, you gotta click that bell, that's important. Anyways, guys, my name is Mayhem, and I'm out. See you guys later in the next episode, alright? Bye!